Hey, is this picture showing a giant elephant made out of old rubber tires for real? Or are we just looking at some sort of computer generated fantasy? I've got the answer to that 12 megapixel mystery, plus answers on some other crazy stuff you guys have been asking me about. Like this picture claiming to show a side-by-side -side comparison of human versus Neanderthal skulls. This picture that wants us to believe that dog really is that big. And this picture claiming to show a woman standing with the bones of a giant. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. You know, I see crazy pictures come in day in and day out, but I gotta tell you, you know, one that caught my eye last week is this one. The picture was sent in by a Bill's Channel viewer who just wrote, is this real or fake? Okay, so what do we got here? We got a big old elephant made out of a bunch of old used tires. Well, for me, I mean, it seems pretty legit, but then again, on the other hand, we better take a closer look just to make sure. Taking a closer look at the picture, it does look very real. The area surrounding the elephant looks like the real world, and all the shadows in the landscape, as well as the tire fan, as I like to call it, are in the correct alignment. If we zoom in on it, the tires themselves all look pretty realistic, except for maybe this one right here. I mean, what kind of tire is that? And over here, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, isn't that an airplane tire? What is that doing there? I don't know about you, but I am starting to get a little suspicious here. That looks like something you might see if someone inserted this elephant from one background into another. And also up here, look at this, uh-oh. Digital artifacts. Somebody's been playing around with this picture. Hmm, this one turned out to be a little bit more difficult than I thought, so came up with a good idea. Send it over to the research team on Facebook. There are a lot of opinions, of course, some fake, some real, but then researcher Eric Rivera found this. I don't know what movie that is, but that is a definite match for the elephant we are taking a look at. Okay, well, this is how I want you to vote on this one. If you think that is a real photo of a real elephant sculpture made out of old tires, then I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think that is a character from a movie or somewhere else we don't know, and then it was placed into that picture, then I want you to vote fake. And as usual, if you don't think we have a solid answer or what we like to call the smoking gun, then I want you to vote unknown. All right, you got it? Ready? And go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to vote, what do you say we take a look at my favorite real video of the week? It's a video posted by Kevin Clower of a beverage cart that went out of control at the Chicago airport. The thing was about to hit the plane when a ramp worker used a forklift to deliver the knockout punch. Wow. I heard that the flight attendants later on that flight, they didn't open any of those cans that they picked up off the tarmac and put back on the plane because you know what was about to happen. They just handed out the whole can, said, here you go, you can have the full can today. Just open it yourself, okay? Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, now that we had a little bit of fun with that video, what do you say we get back to our big tire fan here and get to the ultimate truth right here. Find out who's got it right and who got it wrong. All right, place your markers because here we go. And the official answer is 100% without any doubts whatsoever, a big, fat, real. Eric Rivera, Jeff Kane, and Junis Mononen were the first super sleuths to come up with a smoking gun on this one. The sculpture was made by Finnish artist Vilu Janisu and sits at the center of a roadway roundabout in Finland. Vilu is known not just for his big tire fan, 
but also this big duck made from tires, this Buddha, and even these palm trees. Wow, what a great way to recycle old tires, huh? Now if you could just do one of a Megalodon, that would be cool. Now as far as this picture goes, well, that is the real fake. The artist in this case took Vilu's real sculpture and put it into a movie scene. Here's yet another example of the real tire elephant being put into a fake scene. I don't know why they did this, but you know, it's like I always say, we live in strange times, people. Our next picture comes to us from Haunt Stunt Gaming, who wrote, is this picture showing a human skull versus a Neanderthal skull? For real? Haunt, if you would have asked me if this showed the difference between humans and aliens, I would have thought that was much more likely. But Neanderthals? I mean, look at the length of the Neanderthal skull. That is amazing. If it truly is a Neanderthal skull, then they must have been way smarter than humans. Modern humans and Neanderthals, in case you were wondering, basically came from the same ancestor a half million years ago but they then split off from each other. We humans evolved in Africa, while the Neanderthals moved north to the Eurasian continent. Now, as everybody knows, we humans survived, but the Neanderthals, well, they went extinct. They just kind of died out. Nobody knows for sure why the Neanderthals disappeared. Maybe it's because the back of their head was just too heavy, or who knows, maybe they really were aliens and they just left the planet. Okay, so here's how I want you to vote on this one. If you think those are two real skulls, one of a human, one of a Neanderthal, then I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think somebody created those things either by Photoshop or some other means, then I want you to vote fake. And as usual, you can always vote for I like peanut butter or unknown, depending on what's up there on the old vote button page or whatever they call those things. I think they call them cards on YouTube, cards. Anyway, wow, you Neanderthals are gonna be happy with this one. I don't know, is that the way Neanderthals talk? I don't know. That's more the way my wife imitates me talking. Okay, uh, the answer is, and you may not like this, uh, fake. David Gioia and Julie Frost won the Smoking Gun Award on this one. The picture, as it turns out, was recorded by Dr. Mike Baxter at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History. What it shows is not two real skulls, but rather two cast creations of skulls to show us what scientists think is the difference between human and Neanderthal skulls. But guys, you know what the weird thing is? Scientists believe we humans were a lot smarter than the Neanderthals, even though the Neanderthals had that huge skull holding all those big brains. Scientists believe the Neanderthal skull was bigger because Neanderthals assigned much more brain real estate to vision and less to higher thinking. You see, the Neanderthals needed this because where they lived, well, they didn't have as much light as humans had where they lived further to the south. So my only suggestion to you guys is spend as much time as you can outside during the day, okay? Because otherwise, you know, your head could go like that. You know, turn into a Neanderthal. Next up is this picture of a truly giant dog. It was sent in by Carrie Heiss, who just wrote, is this picture real or fake? Carrie, we get big dog pictures in here day after day. Now, some of them are real, like this one. Some of them are fake, like this one. And some of them are super fake, like this one. Now, what this one is, well, that's anybody's call. So, tell you what, I'm gonna let you guys break down this picture yourself. So, what you do is, go ahead, you can pause this video, and then you can go out on the internet, and we all know this is a Great Dane. It's obviously a Great Dane. So go out, do some searches on a Great Dane, see how big they actually get, see how much they weigh, then come back here, take another look at the picture, and then make a very informed vote right up here. Or leave me an answer down here. Or you can shout it out if you're watching with your parents or your kids or in a group or in a classroom or in church or at the dentist. Well, maybe you better not do that at the dentist. 
you're gonna you're gonna scare me. Anyway, let's see what's going on with this great dame. And the answer is this is kind of a shocker because that dog is real. As it turns out, his name was Major and he lived in South Wales. He stood over seven feet or two meters and weighed 168 pounds or 76 kilograms. Major was owned by Brian and Julie Williams. He was in the running for the Guinness Book of World Records, but unfortunately died in 2018. Here he is with what is believed to be Britain's smallest dog in 2016. The Williams said he had the biggest heart in the world and don't think they will ever be able to replace their beloved pet. Our next picture comes to us from Ray Ray, who wants to know if this big octopus or squid or whatever that is, really chased a diver out of the water. Ray Ray, that's a very unique picture and it's only been sent to us one time and I gotta tell you, we don't have an answer for it. I mean, it's one of the biggest mysteries we have. So if any of you guys have any information on this, please send it in to me, okay? In the meantime, let's take a look at this picture. It was sent in by Jurase026, who just wrote, is this picture with the giant bones real or fake? All right, guys, what do you say we just get straight to this one? I mean, do you really think we need to make an investigation on something like that? I mean, seriously. All right, so here's what I want you to vote. If you think somebody kind of cooked this up in Photoshop, in other words, you know, took those bones and made them look bigger or whatever they did, drew them in there, then I want you to vote fake. If on the other hand, you just might happen to think this is an authentic picture uh, and everything in that setting was actually there, then I want you to vote real, okay? I don't think there's gonna be an unknown on this one. I think we got the answer. So go ahead, leave your votes. Answers down there. Shout it out. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's see, let's get this over with. Because I want to get on to this week's fan art. We got some good fan art. And, uh, what? You're not going to believe this. That picture is real. Thanks to Julie Frost and a few others, we now know this picture was not created with Photoshop. It depicts a special exhibit in Hawaii where both Jurassic Park and Kong Skull Island were filmed. Yes, the actual bones are fake, but that wasn't the challenge. The challenge was, did somebody use Photoshop to put those bones in the picture? The picture was first posted by Anna Everywhere for her travel blog. And now, for my favorite fake of the week. I think we covered this picture of the world's biggest snake fake once before, but never have I seen a claim so stupid. Check this out. It says, world's biggest snake anaconda in Africa's Amazon River. Okay, now I gotta stop right there. Whoever posted this does not know their geography at all. The Amazon River is in South America, not Africa. Then it says it has killed 257 humans and 2,325 animals. I mean, can you get any more ridiculous than that? I mean, how would anybody even know? <sighs> and then, oh, by the way, it's 134 feet long and weighs 2,067 kilograms. That is so crazy. I mean, the biggest anaconda ever recorded was just 28 feet, not 134, and it weighed 500 pounds, not 2,067 kilograms or over 4,000 pounds. Guys, I don't think we have to go any further on this one. It's just, what can I say? One big fat fade.